Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 18th, 2021. Well, yesterday we had that big uncertainty out there that um, not knowing what the Fed might do, and Jerome Powell came in riding on his white horse, waving that magic Fed wand, suggesting that they are not intending to raise interest rates until 2024 and are unconcerned about worries of inflation. That took the Dow that had sold off a little bit, took the Dow to new record highs yesterday and also pushed the SPY up to new record highs on the day but we still have some issues we have to deal with out here so how about we grab ourselves something to drink let's dig into these technicals and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today on the thursday edition of the morning market prep video so good morning once again everyone um kind of an interesting um an interesting market situation a very bullish market situation in most places um yet we still have some lingering concerns out there first off let's take a look at what we've got um here in the dow dow is looking very very bullish albeit a little bit well not even a little bit we're very extended in the short term clearly very pumped up on uh, federal spending federal um, stimulus very very extended here in the short term and we are holding well above price support levels in the chart when i say extended what i mean is just how sharply we could um, could pull back if all we do is pull back to test price support let's take a quick look at that i'm going to go to the dow so that we can get a full measure of that and just notice that if we were to pull back from where we closed yesterday and push this back whoops excuse me we closed up here yesterday where we closed yesterday and just pull back to here just notice that that is a thousand points 1000 points above a price support in the chart if we use the bigger price support we're almost 1450 points to that price support so when i say extended it could be very very painful should the market find a reason to sell um, a stumble you could see we could drop pretty substantially so one of the things we're going to have to do is we want to stay with the trend but we don't want to become complacent we want to realize that markets rise and after they rise substantially, they typically rest or pull back. Now, what would be the hopeful case here is that we just go sideways. We just go sideways. And it's gonna take probably two or three weeks or more of sideways to consolidate such a big upside move. If we don't, and if we find a reason to stumble, that could be a pretty substantial pullback and a painful pullback so remember don't become complacent stay on your toes and stay focused in this market albeit very very bullish there's some danger here that we have to think about let's take a look at the spy now spy is not nearly in such an extended condition as a matter of fact spy has been doing a lot of resting actually um, the last few days and as you can see spy it's kind of setting right on that trend depending on how you draw that out setting right on that trend and even though we inked new record highs yesterday notice we have a pre-market candle that's suggesting a bit of a reversal uh, possibility here this morning we are setting right here on this price support as well and that's a good thing if we can hold it but we do want to consider the fact that if we don't hold that we could have we could quickly break this trend quickly break the trend and quickly break that support which could bring in some sellers now if we can hold in here if those bulls can maintain um, that energy um, bouncing off of this we've got a good looking uh, chart if we can do that and i think i'm going to have to lean toward that side for the bullishness because um, we have an exceedingly dovish fed 
and we have money just being printed and sent out like crazy. So um, I think the upside is probably the more likely, but we'll want to stay focused and not get complacent here. Watch that close. Then we have our problem child. We've got the QQQ. And although the QQQ made a good recovery yesterday after some early selling in the market, had that nice little recovery, we barely squeaked out a close yesterday above the 50 day moving average. And notice that we ran up here and we attacked, we gave it a shot again to break that resistance, price resistance in the chart. And we backed away from it um, by the close. Unfortunately, this morning, take a look here, we're looking at kind of a NASDAQ reversal of that bullishness yesterday. Um, we'll have to watch that pretty closely as we progress throughout the day. One of the patterns that we don't want to see though is we don't want to see a failure here at the 50 day moving average of the NASDAQ. And one of the reasons that is true is because we know those NASDAQ companies, those big tech giants, they hold a significant weight in the diamonds, the spy, and the QQQ. If those big tech giants struggle to grow or to go up, it may be difficult for the other indexes to continue to rally. So watch that closely. We don't want to see this starting to drift lower or to fail here because a failure at a lower high can suggest a retest of the lows or even a lower low is possible in that chart. So watch that pretty closely. Still a little bit of a concern there. We'll see how we deal with that as we progress throughout the day. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM had a little bit of a pullback yesterday. We saw financials. We saw um, oil sector stocks starting to uh, just relax a little bit over the last couple of days. But we had a nice little rally back yesterday. Once again, we are doing very, very well here in this chart, but if you notice, we're holding right there on that price support. And if we um, get enough bullishness here, we can bounce right off of this and continue this upside move in IWM. But we also have that little bit of a inconvenience of if we happen to break that support, um, we would try to seek the next levels in support in that chart. So watch that pretty carefully. Everything looks pretty copacetic, but you never want to become complacent. Let's take a look at the VIX. We had some good news in the VIX yesterday for the first time in a very long time. And I mean all the way back here to August, we finally broke down below the 20 handle and seemed to be confidently selling off into the close there. So our fear index is starting to calm down here. And I think that is a positive sign. We want to see that remain down here um, and, and continue to fall. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see some kind of shock wave or something that pops it right back up. But if we can stay under there and if we can start to use this level right in here as price resistance of fear, that would be a great thing for the market. So if we can drift this down and do one of those um, little price action moves, that would be beautiful. And things might start looking a little bit more, no, more normal as market pushes toward record highs or continues to set record highs. So watch that closely. VIX may be showing some improvement here. Then if we take a look at our T2122, unfortunately, we still have a problem here in our T2122, and that is we are still quite elevated um, on this chart. Notice that we did break down um, yesterday a little bit. We um, pushed lower and this does provide some upside room in the market before we reach that, you know, excessively overbought condition. And we've seen times before, we've seen times before where we've kind of bounced around up here for a period. And, and that certainly is possible. We could bounce around up here for a period of time. But keep an eye on that where we may struggle just a little bit finding enough energy to keep this buying wave going. Um, if we hit some kind of a stumbling block, um, just remember we have a pretty big open hole below um, if um, things start to run into trouble. Now keep in mind, we can see T2122 pullback. 
and have the indexes going directly sideways. That would be one of the better situations that we could do. We could just rest. What that means is the majority of stocks might be in a little slight decline while we have a few stocks continuing to hold up, but the index itself could just slide sideways and we could still see T2122 pull back. And that would be probably the most bullish thing that we could see happen um, um, in this chart if we could just rest for a little while and absorb this big move. Let's take a look at our T2101. T2101 rallied back up here. We're up here pressing into this resistance area. We may still have some upside uh, before we tag that resistance, but kind of keep an eye on that. Um, as we push up, if we can break through and maybe hold and go on higher, we might be in good shape. But watch that closely. We're at that point where we could see a little bit of rest uh, or pullback in that T2101, that absolute mark of breadth. Then let's take a look at another problem area that we have to address here, and that is those rising bonds, rising bonds. Uh, bonds this morning touched um, a 1.74%. So even with that uh, magic wand of the Fed, they are not calming the fears of potential um, inflation in the market. We're seeing those bonds continue to rally. Now, I believe bonds are going to have the biggest effect. Rising bonds will have the biggest effect on tech. We want to watch that pretty closely um, here if these bonds continue to rise. We need to see those starting to soften up a little bit and pull back. It would appear that even though the Fed and even the ECB said they are not going to respond to um, rising um, inflation um, worries, um, that may not prevent traders and investors from worrying about that, sending those higher. So watch that closely. It may be difficult for the market to rally if these continue to push to the upside. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has a little bit going on here today, not a major um, major thing here today, but we do always want to pay attention to these jobless claims. Albeit that we kind of ignore jobless claims anymore, we have we have a tremendous number of people unemployed. Um, after this long and this much money printing, to still be showing up with more than 700 people filing new jobless claims week after week is not a good situation, but we're continuing to ignore that. Jobs don't matter as long as we keep printing money. And so we'll want to keep an eye on this. Um, we know that we have hit some shock waves on this before. Um, could be both bullish or bearish on that. Watch that closely. We have the Fed, uh, Philly Fed manufacturing number. That's the only other thing that could really probably move us around today. Um, but I think largely we will be focused more on zero rates until 2024. Um, keep in mind that we have a natural gas report and we just have a whole bunch of bond announcements, auctions, and things like that. There's that 10-year tips auction um, that we'll want to keep an eye on at 1 p.m. So watch that closely. So um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, um, we've had a, a lot of small caps popping up into our earnings calendar here recently and a lot of unverified reports. So although we have about 90 companies on the calendar that may report today, we have a good deal of those that are unconfirmed reports. However, I pulled out some notables um, and we'll take a look at a few of those. And if you want to catch the full list, make sure and click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and you can catch that full list. Take a look. Um, we have a few things that you might want to pay attention to today. We have Dollar General reporting. Dollar General has been struggling here tremendously um, lately, which is kind of odd. Usually when the market is um, uncertain of itself, we see these um, Dollar General and Dollar Tree type stores rally. However, this did surge a lot uh, during COVID, so maybe it's just a natural pullback um, 
in uh, that chart. And we'll want to keep an eye on this this morning. It looks like in the pre-market, we're getting a pretty ugly candle here on Dollar General. That could affect other retailers as well. So watch that close. Uh, take a look. We have FDX. FDX will be reporting today. FedEx could be an interesting report for the market. Notice that we've been trying to climb this little wall of worry here breaking through some resistance, trying to show some bu uh, bullish patterns here. So that'll be an important report today. Keep a close eye on that. We're going to get um, numbers from Signet Jewelers today. This has been in an unbelievable upside trend. Apparently during COVID, everyone in wanted to buy their bling because oh my goodness are they growing and really surging and you can see surging higher this morning maybe a result of those earnings reports looking really really good so there's a few of those charts that are notable this morning and once again if you want to see the entire list go back and and check that blog out and um, get that full list of those notables let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos you know the purpose of these videos are not to add to the noise the hype the drama uh, the prediction of the market they are really meant to look at the technicals look at the details of price action and um, try to determine how we might want to approach the market for today and if you guys find that to be helpful please also click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment helps the channel to continue to grow and if you would do me another favor Share this video out on your social media feed. That helps us reach more people and continue to grow the channel. So thank you very much who, for everyone who does that. And a huge shout out to those folks that have been using that Buy Me A Coffee, supporting the channel uh, through Buy Me A Coffee. I, I truly, truly appreciate it, um, helping me pick up some additional equipment and things, trying to improve uh, channel content. So you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at stock setting up and remember everyone that these are not a re recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, you have to do your own due diligence, make sure you're not blindly following anyone else's trade and understand the risk of the trades that you are taking. Let's take a look at RIG. Now RIG has been an interesting chart and I actually own some RIG and I was watching this pretty closely yesterday. You notice that we have, we shot up here, pulled back pretty strongly with the market kind of getting a little bit soft there for a little bit on uh, the oil sector but now we've got this bullish pattern showing up here that possibility that we could find that next entry point into rig so if you've missed it, this before there may be an opportunity here um, with a relatively low risk entry into the trade keep an eye on that if rig can start perking on up from here might be a pretty nice looking chart i also hold khc now um, and my intention is not just to point out stocks that I hold, but um, I really like this chart. And I like this chart not only for a short term, but also for a long term. This is an incredible um, basing pattern that occurred here in KHC. And this breakout, I believe here, is rather significant. And that possibility that we're going to reach up here to test that next resistance level. Now, KHC has been moving up nicely, and if I go back to the daily chart, you can see that we've pushed back up here. I placed another alert here on this chart, push back up, and we may get that additional move to push on through these resistance levels and try to stretch on out. So watch that carefully. Getting a little pullback in the pre-market this morning, but I don't know that that's a major concern. So keep an eye on that one. Um, I think we need to keep an eye on some of these casino stocks. Um, casinos have been holding up really, really well. And with the dovish Fed and travel and things starting to come around, take a look at Wynn Casinos. Wynn has been testing and pushing against this resistance for a little bit now. And we're continuing to hold in this upside trend. Now, this may require still a little bit more rest. We may pop through or we may consolidate right along there that area. But keep an eye on that. 
could push on through. Casinos looking pretty good. Airline travel looking pretty good um, overall. Let's take a look at DD. Now, DD was actually brought up to me by one of the folks of RWO pointed this out yesterday. Probably the prettiest chart that I saw all day yesterday. And notice we have this nice little cup pattern that formed here and this nice little rest that put in that handle. Nice little tight consolidation right against that resistance area of the chart. And yesterday we pushed on through. Might want to keep an eye on DD and other chemical companies. They're starting to look pretty good. Other places that you might want to take a look. Take a look at CLF. Cliffs Natural, or not Cliffs Natural, Cleveland Cliffs. Um, started to perk up yesterday and notice that we kind of broke down this trend and then we ended up kind of cupping here again we just pushed that back up and we broke back through that resistance level in the chart and we're starting to show um, some buyers stepping up in here so keep a close eye on this chart I think there may be some opportunity push up a little resting pullback bullish engulfing candle yesterday holding off of that price support that um, possibility that we're ready to resume the upside trend here in um, steel in the same uh, same sector take a look at X US steel trying to hold up and you can see we've surged up rested back we may have to consolidate a little bit more depending on how that trend is actually drawn um, I've got mine drawn a little bit flat but watch that we may have to rest a little bit more but keep an eye on steel if we're going to do this massive massive infrastructure spend steel likely a uh, place to look you could also take a look at like fcx copper is going to be in massive demand if we're going to do that big infrastructure improvement we really don't have anywhere close to enough copper supplies right now to um, just supply EV vehicles, let alone an infrastructure build out in the country. So kind of an interesting um, thing that we're showing some pressure on these. So keep an eye on FCX. And surprisingly, um, we're even seeing a, a big surge in aluminum. Take a look at this nice little resting pullback, bullish candle here, trying to push on higher. Really nice looking chart. Keep a close eye on those. So there's a few stocks for you to take a look at, a few things that might uh, may have some meaning for you. Put on a watch list. Um, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Let's keep a close eye on those bonds. Let's be careful not to become complacent. We want to stay with this trend, but be careful not to co become complacent, thinking that the only move in this market is to the upside, because I think there are some clues out there that we may be a little bit stretched and a pullback could occur at, li at a minimum, a little bit of a rest in the market. So watch that carefully. Everyone have an awesome day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day, everyone.